So, I'm gonna make a quick, well, I'm not gonna be quick, Platinum Trophy Guide for Cool Painter VR. Now, I got the Platinum just there a minute ago with a different account, which is why I'm gonna quickly jump in and make it now while it's so fresh in my mind, because there's fuck all trophy guides that I could find online. And good information. This guy, go away. Go away, you. So, it's not that hard a game to, or to Platinum, but just because the trophy descriptions are useless, it makes it a whole lot harder than it, it should be. Right, let's get this guy out of the way. So, start the game up anyway. Most of the trophies are kind of a collection of use this type of brush, that type of brush. I think you can probably get a trophy straight away here. This fella, when he pops up, you should be able to shake him. I don't know. He'll pop up now and then for certain things that you have to shake the... There you go. Gold trophy. Before you even get started. So when that little fella pops up, just shake the, the move controller a lot. And that's your first one off to a start. Um, okay, so pressing triangle, which is like the little paintbrush tool. Start with the brush. Okay, go ahead. I know how to play. Yes. So the annoying thing is now, it, it says you have to paint a certain amount of distance, but if it actually just counts for uh, like a full press down, because you'll see if you keep painting, it'll eventually stop. You run out of ink. So the best way to actually get these trophies is just to tap the, the trigger button at the back. Now for these um, brush stroke trophies, you need to press the button about 200, 250 times. I counted it there a minute ago when I was getting bored. This game is sort of like uh, Wii Fit. If you're a bit like myself, you can just sit in the couch and pretend you're actually doing something. When in reality, you're just cheating the system. But uh, mash this button. Keep mashing it until the trophy unlocks. And then you can switch to the next one. Keep mashing it again. Switch to the next one. And that'll, that'll get you a gold trophy once you've caught the third one. I know it sounds like I'm having a bit of fun to myself, if you know what I mean. But I'm just mashing this button a lot. And I'll eventually get the trophy. This is probably the most tiring of them all. There there are lots of other trophies that involve this sort of thing, but these three paintbrush ones involve the most button mashing. But once it's done, it's done. It's all fine after that. I'm switching around hand on my hands getting sore. Um, there's a couple of other ones that involve like using the tools that the game gives you and some of these are buggy I found the zoom tool one to be really buggy. No, I don't know if I just tried that at the wrong time or what um, That 16 chapel one that was also a bit buggy too But I'll go through each one now and explain how it all works There we go That almost looks like a gold the Wrong button um, actually, you may as well just do this, get it out of the way. Save it to the console. You need to save three of these to create a portfolio. It's loads of fun. Now, on to the next one. I usually like just to change the color to help me keep track of, of where I am. So, start button mashing again. Get this one over and done with. So, uh, yeah, we're to the 16 chapel one. What that means is you need to build a... This is sort of like a sculpture, you can move it around, but you need to create one that's super, super tall. Now to do that, you can actually switch the move controller to a grab mode, which allows you to grab this piece of art in front of me, this fantastic creation, and move it around in the free space. So what I ended up doing was I just kind of created a bunch of lines that went down, lifted them up in the air, made another line, and just kept pushing them up and up and up until eventually I got the trophy. But that's all you really need to do to get that one, it's not that complicated. Uh, trying to think of the other ones now that were a bit kind of less obvious because most of these are just involving button mashing and they're boring as hell I'd say this game is absolutely brilliant if you're someone who's artistic though it feels like it's got a lot of cool stuff in it and it'd be interesting to people who are you know able to draw something cool instead of me just making ketchup and mustard it even looks like the tip of a mustard oh I've lost the controller Looks like the tip of a mustard joke. No. Last one. Now this is the last of the time consuming ones. The rest of them after this are actually easy. Bar the Sistine Chapel one, but that one's a, a workout and a half. You'll feel fucking fantastic after you finish that one. I'll go over here. Keep my eye on the, uh, the camera. The faster the better. Turbo mashing. Oh, I'm gonna need to go to bed after this, I'm knackered. 
So anyway, keep on mashing. I promise all of the other sort of collection related trophies are considerably easier to get. Not that this one's hard. Once you know what you're doing and you do have a good guy in this game is genuinely 30 minute platinum. I just found it hard initially because there was no resources online that showed me how to get all the trophies. So that should be a goal to come with this one now. Give me the gold. Yeah. Okay. You can go away as well. Um, okay. So we'll go on to the next one. The dropper. I think you can just use that. And the trophy should unlock just from using it. That's another handy one for you. So that's the dropper tool. There's another quick one here from this symmetry tool. I don't actually know what it does, but just open it up and you get your trophy. Um, next one is the shapes. I don't know why this grid is here and it's going to annoy me. Let's turn around here. So same as you did with the uh, the brush stroke ones. Just keep keep mashing. These do unlock a lot faster, thankfully. These are very easy. Now, while I'm here, I'm pretty sure there's trophies for them ones too. So you just... I should get another one again. And I may be gold. Give me the gold, baby. There we go. Um, so onto the triangles. Yes, I've been doing this already. So, set button mashing the next shape. You have to go through every single one of those shapes. But I think it's like 50 hits, 50 clicks to get the, the trophies for the shapes. So the shapes are okay. I don't even bother changing the color now since it's going to make this video longer than it needs to be. See if I can actually get this trophy in a, or the platinum in a reasonable amount of time. I don't remember if every single one of these shapes... Okay. So yeah, when this happened to me last time, I used this as an opportunity to save to the console. Um, well, I'm at it to save again. Even though it's telling you you're, you're saving the same thing twice. I think then if you go to here. Jesus, someone's got a lovely one there. Um, no, I do have to start again. So go to a reset. I'll clear everything. So you're all good again. So that's one portfolio item saved. So I'll have to create some more images now to to get that portfolio trophy. So I don't. I think this is the one that I didn't get a trophy for, and I'm not sure if it's because I missed it or because it doesn't exist. But I'll, I'll mash it for a second and see. And if nothing pops, then I know that it was a case that it just didn't exist the first time when I did it. Doesn't look like it does. Switch over to another tool. No, I know the cone does. So add it again. Keep mashing. It will unlock another trophy, I think. See how I'm giving this guide with a whole load of confidence. Maybe they must not count. I know these monkey shapes do, these monkey shapes. Let's go for a new color. Now these ones you can't really mash because they require you to like swipe the brush to make little corn dogs. I don't know what the what the rule is or what these these are even meant to be. That's another one. This is like a double thicker shape. These are like it's like looking at the McDonald's menu. Lovely, wholesome pieces of chicken. So just keep keep mashing. You'll eventually get it. I think I'm standing in a bad place now because the fucking camera's gone nuts. Just let me move a bit. Come on, let's give me the trophy. Did I get it already? Now this one, I think you should get it in an instant trophy. I think, the, I think it says pottery you will. So, there you go. Do I get a gold after this now or do I still have to keep playing? Guess I'll go with the cylinder for a minute. Ugh. Oh. 
not the most uh, exciting game to play, even if you're going for just for the trophies. There we go. So yeah, I did get them all. So yeah, it looked like um, the cone and the plane, they don't count for this trophy to get all of those um, individual ones. Now while I'm here again, I'm just going to save this one to the console. Doesn't matter really what you take the picture of. And I'll just do another reset. So now I should be able to get my third and final picture. So, I'm trying to think what else I'd have to do. I think it's this, just the 16 chapel one. So, I'll I'll probably try and combine two trophies into one for this. So then there's another one, I forget the name of it. But it involves using this tool like crazy. So, you can paint crazy like that, which I've seen a video from some other fella do. But I actually got this trophy much quicker by just uh, button mashing. I don't even think you need to change the colour, just start mashing the button. And it eventually unlocked for me after a couple of seconds of just mashing the button like this. So, I'm sure there's some uh, great artistic reference for those who are... ...know what that sort of stuff is. I'll change the colour again. So, yeah, I actually, I do really don't know what, what I did to get this trophy, but it involved this tool. And I was just using, using it for ages. There we go. Um, so now it's that 16 chapel one, which I think, well, I'll get this uh, last portfolio one. So save that. Now, it didn't unlock for me until I went to here to load them. So there you go. Guess you gotta bring it up in the menu to make it to make it work. So for that sixteen chapel one, oh, this is gonna be awkward, isn't it? I have, to, I have to knock the old camera down so I can actually touch the floor. Let me reset now. Hmm, hopefully, I haven't fucking sabotaged my whole video there now. So got all messed up with the buttons there. So I was trying to reset my position. So if you look at the where that move button is on the controller that turned to a hand, you go right. If I grab this, I can actually lift it up in the air now. And this is what I was using to oh, fuck off. This is how um I very slowly and painstakingly did that Sistine Chapel trophy. So I just lifted that up. Now, I may be wrong. This could end up being one that takes a while to do. Because um, when I was doing this myself... Oh, this is so tedious. So when I was doing this myself, I um, had already got a ton of stuff drawn. So I don't know how much of that influenced the trophy. I can only imagine it did something. Well, I hope in a minute, because I did see a potential for this trophy to be a bit easier a while ago. So there's another trophy for using the zoom tool. Now this one is glitched, kind of. I say that, that it's glitched without even knowing what the requirements are. But if you go into the hand tool again, and you see for triangle, there's a magnifying glass. Just click that. Now... Place the part you want to focus on within the highlighted cube, press T button and move the controller. Now, it's, it seems simple, but it isn't because it's stupid. So, we'll zoom all the way out. That's not been very straight, is it? No wonder it'll take me a long time to build that chapel if I build it to keep going in the curve. So, I've zoomed all the way out to make it as small as possible. Now, I'm going to assume you got to zoom all the way in to make it as big as possible. But I did this a bunch of times and it didn't make the trophy unlock. But I was thinking that maybe this would also mean the... This would also mean that Sistine Chapel one unlocks. Although it seems to have skewed it a bit funny. But this is big. So she's saying... So maybe if I keep lifting this up... It will count... As being huge, maybe. 
So my arms are knackered already. I just feel like I'm lifting in circles now. So zoom back out. I really don't know if this is what you're meant to do to get this trophy. It took me a couple of attempts to playing around with it to make it unlock. Now maybe you need to have a maybe it needs a bit more detail. Wait. Oh, I'm after hitting the light. Let me pull this down a bit. So don't go break it anymore. Furniture and house. Yeah, this is pretty cool actually. This like if if what else I don't know what else the game even wants me to do with this. Like that looks pretty zoomed in to me. Oh, I'll grab this now and get it even closer. So see I wanna get I hit myself in the face on everything. Like that's that's as big as it's gonna get. That's his max size. Oh and then zoom out to its smallest possible size. Like, do we need to be getting all fucking Sherlock Holmes on it? Oh, go Um. Well, I guess that means that uh, my other theory of using this to build this, that 16 chapel size isn't going to be... Isn't going to do it. Like, how much more zoom in do they need? But what I might do is just draw something a bit more, a bit better. I say I'll have to reset this one in a minute anyway. I've kind of mucked it up now, my theories. So, just draw a load of crap. Maybe add some colors. Maybe they require some substance. And actually, now that I think of it, I did have spray paint on it. When I uh, got that trophy. So maybe that's what it's looking for. Some sort of. Minimum level of detail in the drawing. Before it'll. Oh, we'll go away. I'll add some yellow snow. <laughs> yeah. Get some shapes in there. Now it's looking. Looking like it's something that's worth zooming in on. I hope. But yeah, I would suspect now that I think of it that it's got some sort of a minimum requirement for an actual thing to zoom in on. Right, there's a good bit in there now. There's loads in there. I don't want to stop being a pain in the hole. Give me my trophy. Oh, I'm going to have a friggin' seizure. Jesus Christ. Go trying to kill me there we go okay so i guess you have to have some sort of a reasonably detailed picture so i'm just going to reset this one because i feel like no i won't just in case i won't reset it because i'm wondering maybe if there is a requirement for the that this trophy to have it a certain height or a certain like amount of detail and just like there was for the zoom trophy there Perhaps there is a, a requirement for you to have added enough detail to the, the canvas. But, uh, I don't even know if I'm going straight anymore, so this could, be a, this could be a slow one. But I think this might be the last trophy I'm on. Let me check the trophy list now in a second. They don't need to touch as long as they're uh, all lifted up together like that. It'll be fine. Maybe I'll just do a couple of... What the fuck am I hitting? I'm hitting something in the room and I can't see it. Go for a bit more. Oh. Definitely going to need a rest after this game. Switch it again. Oh, okay, yeah, that's... Something tells me I'm not going to get very far like this. Have I just gone and looped around? Oh, this zoom tool is a load of shit. Uh, 
I don't want to just do a whole take my word for it, it works. But it does. Oh, it's seizure time. Right, this is going horribly wrong. A load of particles anyway, so. Right, I'll start again, because this scene's gone to shit. So, these particles also count for a trophy then. Lovely. What are the tubes? I should really know that, shouldn't I? Oh, yes, this one's. No, actually, I did lie. This one does take a lot of button mashing, too. But it's... More trophies for the family. Do you know what? I'll use this as a an opportunity now to build my tall tower and do it right. So I kill two birds, the one stone. So uh, keep mashing. Even though it doesn't look like a circle, it is kind of... It looks pretty cool, actually. I do like that. But keep on mashing. Uh, there's one down. On to the triangles. I'll change the color. Add a bit of light. Add a bit of brightness to the world. Getting dull. It's looking very... Uh, Mirror's Edge now. I knew I was an artist. Come on. Another one down. Go yellow now. Who doesn't love a bit of yellow? Let's go with this beautiful piece of work. May as well start lifting it up a bit now. Add a bit of size to it. So I do think it's just waste based on a height, but like I said, when I did it the, first, the last time, I did have quite a lot of, uh, I did have quite a lot of other stuff drawn before, prior to lifting it up that high. So, Let's just work on the assumption that that needs to be done too. We'll button mash again. This will be the final one now, and I get a gold a gold trophy along with this final one. Ah, oh. game hates me. Be go. Um, don't press the X. Gold orange. Just me keep sure where I am. Don't want to go on a big curve again. Mandingo style. Uh, sounds like sex noises, I know. I apologize. You're here for trophies and this is what you're getting. It's almost there. Last one. And I think then it's also that, that system chapel one. I'll double check on the quick menu. Come on. There we go. Now I got my gold along with that now. Gold it is. Right. So I'll just double check here now. Yeah, so the last one now is that making it as big as the Sistine Chapel. So I guess I better start lifting. This is boring. And do your best to uh, keep it straight. It only takes longer to, to do if you keep bends in it. But at least this is the last one now. So if this ends up not working. And I give up in a fit of rage. This is how you go about doing it. I don't really know what the, how long it is going to take me. 
I say maybe with my arm up this high, face down to my waist, I'm probably doing about six foot every time. I don't know how to tap this. Big enough. Big enough that this trophy takes ages. And there you go. Get the uh, noodles up. This is taking for fucking ages. For science and research purposes, I am going to quickly look up how tall the Sistine Chapel is because I'm sick of waiting. I'm assuming that's a typo and it is Sistine and not 16. Oh, 21 meters. Right, this is... 21 meters is like not very long. It's really 20 brush strokes me, would get me there. Maybe it needs to be a, a more all over the place piece. Well, keep swiping. Okay, in hindsight, oh, fucking hit the light again. In hindsight, might have been better to to focus on this from the start. Now, if you've been following this video as you've been going along, my apologies. I've now fucked things up for you. Fuck's sake! There's nothing left of that fucking light bulb. That's not the fucking button I wanted. Getting thick now. Oh, Jesus Christ, you bollocks. No. Keep going up. Now, I'm going to move to this tool because this, this is a tool I was using when I got the trophy. So maybe it does need uh, a certain amount of ink on the on the screen. I'll just do a load of this. Maybe this is the the requirement for it. Oh, I'll be here all fucking night now. All I wanted to do was get this trophy off my backlog. It's turned out to be a friggin' nightmare. Right, and there's plenty of ink there. You can like that and be happy. Oh. Maybe it needs to be rotated. So that the... The most colourful piece that I just did there is at the top. Isn't that how the Sistine Chapel was? There was a big painty roof. I go back a bit more, I got an idea. I'm gonna pull this bad boy down. Come here, noodles. Jeez, I went up far, didn't I? So, maybe I just need to paint above me, like on the air. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on! I'm so fucking sick of this already. I regret going so tall now. I'm giving everyone bad advice, including myself. Okay, here. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe it just needs to be a load of drawings above your head. This is my last attempt at theory at this now. I'm going to upload the video and fuck it. Hopefully somebody else can save the day because I'm going to throw this fucking VR headset out the window now in a minute. Fucking donuts. Yeah, I'm outside the play area. I'm trying to fucking draw the roof. Oh, do one more color here now. If this doesn't do it, I'm 
given up on life. So it's the lower brush strokes above the all head. And then maybe I can just like lift it up in the air some. Since it's already on a big stick. Now. Lifting this up. And here's my glorious. Oh, so maybe it just needs to be as tall as that. The play area. Give me my fucking trophy now or I'm going home. Has it unlocked yet? Paint and scene as large as the six. That fuck, what's that, Jesus? I don't know how big the Sistine Chapel masterpiece is. Do I look like a fucking artist? Point is, paint something big. You've got to all but this trophy now and I'm giving up. I'm fucking sick of it. <laughs> 